Lynette, thank you so much for joining Love Was Way again. Um, my first question is just, how's it going? How's the writing going? You're probably working on book three. Yeah, no, the writing's going really well. Book three is actually, it's almost completely like done, done through edits and everything. So I've, I've drafted it. It's been through the first two major rounds of edits. It's now off to the copy editor. And, um, and so we've really only got baby edits left. And so it comes to me at the end of, at the end of October. And then um, I do a round of copy editing and then it's proofreading. And then it's, you know, by the end of this year, it'll be, it'll be done, done and waiting to come out. <laughs> It must feel amazing but yeah. sad at the same time like it's just done already <laughs> yeah it's a bit of both it's a bit bittersweet like there's a lot of relief because um especially coming off the gilded cage and so much happens in that book especially at the end when I went into writing the third book I just knew there was so much that had to happen uh not just on like um, a plot what like at a story kind of level but on a character and emotional um, and a, you know level there's a lot of there's a lot of fallout from a lot of decisions that were made and so writing that book was like every single moment of like every single word I was panicking like can I do this book justice I don't know <laughs> and so it was a huge relief to sort of finish that and just be really kind of happy with how the series ends um and thankfully, you know, it doesn't come out for eight months, so I can sort of sit in it and be, once the time comes for it to come out, I'll be ready to sort of, you know, fly my pretty, you know, go, go and be free. <laughs> All right, eight months, I'm putting that in my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Next June. <laughs> well, excellent. All right, we'll just take you a step back. Um, huge congratulations on the release of The Gilded Cage. So for those who are watching who might not have picked it up yet, can you give us like a brief premise of what The Gilded Cage is about? Well, so The Gilded Cage, this beauty here, oh, is the second that. book in the Prison Healer series. So in the first book, um, I don't really want to give away too many spoilers, but in the first book, we follow a 17-year-old girl who has been locked in a death prison uh, for 10 years. And in that time, um, once she's finally given the chance to earn her freedom, the cost could be her very life. So The Gilded Cage continues her story and um, it sees her. This is a mild spoiler for anyone who hasn't read the first book, but it's if you've ever read any book in the world, you'll know this isn't a huge spoiler. So the second book sees her outside of the prison. And so now she has to navigate this entire new world um, with these people that she doesn't know whether she should trust them or whether she should not trust them. Um, and so much of the first book was Kiva kind of learning, was, was Kiva really learning to trust others, whereas the second book, so much of it is Kiva learning to trust herself and to make her own decisions and to um, decide what really uh, you know, to silence the voices of what people might tell her and to come to her own, um, I guess, ideals and values in the world. And, and she has a few missteps along the way, I would say, but, um, but she grows stronger throughout the process. So yeah, that really, you know, without giving away anything that happens in this book, um, that's kind of where we find it starts. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to give a bit of a blurb to like a second book in the series, <laughs> I'm sure. But no, I think you did that really well. I'm about a quarter of the way through. I'm loving this brand new kind of world that she's in, like seeing her out of the prison. And I'm really excited to keep reading and find out what happens. Nervous yeah. as well. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. So this, you know, the Prison Healer series, um, you mentioned like you were talking about Alice in your interview with, with her earlier this year, that it was your like global splash, like it was sort of your first release in the UK, the US. So you're obviously not like new to releasing books, but has there been anything about this experience that has um, taken you by surprise? Is there anything that you've you've learned? Yeah, I think it's just been... It's just everything is so much bigger, you know, having multiple publishers around the globe um, and, and just having such a big support network. You know, my UK team is just the most amazing people. And then and obviously my US team is fantastic as well. But even like the the other, like the translation foreign rights like countries. So like um, the Dutch edition of the Prison Healer was the first one to come out um, the, in, in a translated language. And they did this beautiful special limited edition with this like sensational cover with and, and foil. And then on the inside, they had all these special bonus features. And so just having like, having these people behind this series and believe in it so much has just been, you know, it's just been like, it's been so surreal and it's been, it's really opened my eyes to uh, the world of publishing beyond like, 
you know, like you said, I've released, this is, you know, The Prison Healer was my ninth published novel, The Gilded Cage is my 10th. Um, but I've been mostly, you know, other than these books, mostly just in Australia. So um, yeah, it's been every day I kind of wake up to new emails with new things. And some of them are like, you know, problems that like, you know, little fires to put out, but most of the time they are like amazing, incredible news or support or encouragement. So yeah, I've just really, it's been a really learning experience and I've really enjoyed every moment of it. So fingers yeah. crossed it keeps happening. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think it's probably, you know, only up from here and you absolutely deserve it because your books and your stories are just the best adventures. Oh, <laughs> I absolutely yeah. love them. So I'm so pleased that it's all gone really well so <laughs> far. Um, and just again, going back to The Gilded Cage, what do you hope, you know, it's a YA book. So what do you hope that the audience will take away from this instalment? Because obviously Keeve is a very strong character. Um, yeah, what are you hoping readers leave with? I think it's probably more what I would like readers to leave with from the series as a whole, not just from an individual book. But, yeah. you know, Kiva has been through so much in her short life and a lot of the characters around her who we get to know have also been through a lot in different ways um, and different kinds of things they go through and they all have different strengths and weaknesses and so I guess I would like readers to kind of remember that no matter how difficult things are no matter how dark your world no matter how many trials that you might have to go through um, you know uh, there's there's always you know the potential for a better day tomorrow so to not give up to keep you know in Kiva's case keep surviving keep fighting she's not a fighter in the sense of a physical strength fighter but you know mentally and emotionally um, she's had to be really strong and she's had to learn how to be really compassionate um, in the face of some really horrific you know things that could have turned her bitter and could have turned her cynical and awful um, so I guess I would like readers to kind of remember that it's you know to, that it's not it's not weak to be you know to be vulnerable and to be softer and to be kind um, and to and to just keep hoping like I think the biggest message is to keep hoping and and especially if we come into the gilded case specific, like specifically I guess one of the main messages would be if you make mistakes and if you fail and if you make the wrong decisions just keep going and keep moving <laughs> and keep trying Absolutely. so um, yeah. I don't want to say more than that because I don't want to give anything away but no, good, yeah. suddenly like someone who's been like locked up since they were seven years old comes into the world as a 17 year old and she's she's incredibly naive to the world she's very aware of like the prison world but the actual real world and 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 her you know loyalties and motives everything's very very difficult so I guess I just want readers to know that you know they're not alone and people have to make hard decisions especially teenagers my goodness teenagers are real, like you know I you know every oh I just lost an earring just ignore that um <laughs> teenagers are just you know like every day is a trial and a challenge so just oh, yeah. be encouraged get through the next day and then the next day and the next day and you'll be fine <laughs> yeah absolutely